Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And today we are here in Claremont in the master plan community that's called Serenoa Lakes by Pulte Homes. And this is a three to four bedroom with a flex, two and a half to four and a half bathrooms with a three car tandem garage, covered lanai, 2685 square feet, 2987 square feet. Now the ranges are because you can do plenty of structural upgrades to this home. Now at the time of video, this home starts at 608,990. That is the base price. The HOA is 111 per month. CDD is 175 per month. Now hit the subscribe and bu uh, alert buttons because that really helps me out. Let's just go see this house. All right guys, so here we are at the Easley or, and the Easley model, here's your two car garage. Now it could be a three car tandem like I described before, which means two cars on the side of each other, one behind it. But I love the peaks of this home. I love the coach lights and the windows on each side that are dual windows. It gives lots of lot natural light to the home. So follow me in and I'll meet you in the inside. All right, guys, so here we are. And the first thing I want to show you is, of course, this is a model and there's a lot of upgrades, but this floor is gorgeous. The wood plank tile is amazing. Love that. And also in this community, the ceiling height is about 10 feet, nine and a half, 10 feet. Very nice. But as you can see, we have plenty of rooms to go into here. We're going to start with the left because of course, everybody likes the rooms for the kids. And this is what I consider the kids rooms. So we have one room here, one room here and a bathroom in the middle. Let's start with the bathroom, which is a full use bathroom. The two vanities, cabinetry below, your large mirror, pendant lighting, and then your tub with the tile about six, seven feet up. Love that elegant tile. Right, Pam? Yes. <laughs> I like the pattern in it. Yep, it is nice. I like the texture. Let's start going this way. But before we hit that room, there's your first deep linen closet. Oh, it's like a walk-in. Yeah, right? Very nice. Now this room is set up as a nursery, but you can tell you have plenty of room in here with your half step in closet. And then I'm gonna go stand by the window. Very simple design that the uh, decorator did, but they did a great job. Window for natural lighting, of course. Love that with your base. And look how high the ceilings are, I love it. Yeah, that's high ceilings yeah. makes such a difference. So yeah, of course, especially when you have a crying baby, it echoes louder <laughs> and you can hear them across the house. <laughs> So we're going to go this way, and before we go this way, we have another small closet here for storage. And we have, now I love it, look at the windows, the decorative windows, because it's the front of the house. These are the only windows that are going to have that decorative stripe between them, but I love that it's knee height, and it has a lot of window real estate. You can see all the light flooding in, but... Again, lots of room, lots of big furniture, half step in closet. Love the uh, pastel colors that they chose. And you can tell your nightstand, even your cadenza over here, plenty of space. Look how much, lots of space. And that makes a difference. Love the paneling doors also. Now, we can't skip this part. As soon as you get to the right side of the home, when you move in, uh, come in <laughs> and move in. <laughs> we have Mike, Mike. Michael's who's moved in. <laughs> yeah, Mike's moved in and he's very comfortable with the natural lighting coming through those two windows. I love it as an office space. This is your flex space, but you have a walk-in closet here. So that's nice for a supply closet if you have your own home business. Love that. And let's not forget, the French doors, very nice. You yeah, have nice that whole that... dynasty entrance. Here I am. <laughs> no, but it's glass, it yeah. doesn't close it in. Right. And then we have our powder room here for your guests when you throw parties and entertain. Which has a closet. Yep, another linen closet. Very nice. And I gotta say, this is a big powder room. But very nice. Your guests don't feel cramped in. Now guys, 
I love the squared off arches here, but this is crazy. As you move forward into the home, it opens all the way up. Now I got to explain the formal dining room to you. It is such a grand space. It is really big. Now, Pam, I'm going to tell you to stay right there. Reason why is if you chose the grand option right here would be your stairway. So it'll take about four feet away from this space, but you will have the upstairs area if you chose that option. So that is a very good choice if you wanted such a bigger home. True, but you still have room for the dining room oh, table. Yeah, I, mean, with, I mean, you still have a lot of space. Yeah, yeah, Pam's at, correct. If you took four feet away, you'll say the stairways is about here where this rug is, but look how much this wall comes out. You still have plenty of space. I mean, the biggest thing I love about this home is the openness. Yeah, yeah, this open, is great. Yeah, you have open space everywhere. With the ceilings, it feels like you're in a grand hall. So we move into the family gathering room and look how far apart the furniture is, right? Now, no, really, real, let's real talk, Pam. They really need a bigger TV here. Yeah. They're not listening. It's, I mean, it's really sad that they don't listen. I, as big as that dining room is, <laughs> if you're eating and, and, and the, then the football game is on, you're missing because you got to see from over there. <laughs> so, but I love it. I love how, how much the furniture fits here. Very comfortable. We're going to get to this part in a minute, but also you have, go ahead, Pam. Your tray ceiling. Ah, that's right. I'm sorry. You have a tray ceiling here with the four high hots. And now that is an upgrade, but it does extend the height of the wall. I would say to like 12. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And that gives it a really grand feel. It's just so opening and inviting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. I love it. It's very comfortable. Now we get to our breakfast nook area, which is in a nice spot. Love that, right? You get all that light from the pocket doors coming in and you can sit the family here, cereal in the morning, what you know, what you would like. And now look at your gourmet kitchen. Guys, this is amazing. This is a big island with the gooseneck, deep undermounted sink, but this pantry, I mean, well, if I can get the cool. door open, <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. I'll, I'll let this pamphlet show I'll you. I'll go in. <laughs> the door's being stubborn today. <laughs> that is a big pantry area. Uh, this is massive. Yeah. Love that. And then we get into our kitchen area. Now, what I love, now obviously this is where the double stack goes. So your convection oven and your regular oven here, they have not put that in yet, but you do have the doggy drawer and it's a deep one, which I like, and it's soft slam. And you have your cabinetry on top with your crown molding. But down here, you gotta see from the island to the countertop, it's huge. Look how big it is. And then here's your dishwasher and stainless steel your electric cooktop, more cabinetry, your range, right? You have a window here for natural lighting coming in, which is really nice, right? And this curves out. What I love here is you open this up and whatever you put here is like a Lazy Susan. They call it a Lazy Daisy, right? No, it's Lazy Susan. Well, the name says Lazy Daisy. I'm calling it Lazy Susan. <laughs> But um, you can put your pots and pans or spices and turn it around and grab it if you need to. That is an awesome design. And also here on the top, same design, it latches and you have more, more interior cabinet space. So I love that. Now you have your double stack on top of your fridge, stainless steel fridge, of course, and your small little coffee station here. Love the backsplash. I do like this kind of backsplash. Go ahead, Pam. It's two-tone. It is two-tone. She caught it before <laughs> I did. The first time. Congratulations, Pam. You got it before me. What do I win? <laughs> I win the house. You win cabinet doors that wrap around the sides. Okay. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> right? And then, of course, you can line up three chairs here. Now, here's the interesting part, guys. I got some more stuff to tell you because this goes into your mudroom, domestic suite area. Right? Here's your utility closet for the AC. And we'll show that. But they even towel under it, which is actually pretty neat. Right? Also, ooh, 
Also, there's a mud bench here. The builder will build a mud bench for you because they did it for a previous customer of mine. But it is an extra charge to do that. Now, keep in mind, if you're going to cut off that tandem garage and make another bedroom and make it a two-car garage, that door will be here where that picture frame is for entry into that extra bedroom if you chose to do that option. Now, we come into the laundry room. Here you go, Pam. Not your typical size laundry room? No, very big. There's your washers and dryers, your cabinetry, and your utility sink off to the side. And I do like that your garage door is in the laundry room because it gives it more of a private feel to the home. People are not just tracking mud in. You can do all that preparing to get into the home area here. So let's back out. We got to go across the home. Whoa, whoa, I almost forgot. These doors here. This option here is amazing. So I do love pocket doors, but the ones that open like this have my heart because it is just, I don't know, I just like the motion. Right? Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. You, all the way, all the way. Open all the way, door. you want me to? <laughs> Pam's going to make me work and it's hot. So if I'm sweating at the end of this video, blame Pam. <laughs> yeah, but, but look at this view. This goes all the way, they both hide, right? And I'm gonna explain some things here. Like, this is an extended version of the cover lanai. Typically, you would have half of this and cover it at base, right? So you can extend it if you build this home out and look, make it look like this, that is incredible. Also, there is an option to put another pocket door right here, going into the kitchen. Really? Yeah. So they do have that option. But look at this. This whole community has conservation views like this with the lake in the back. You know, um, that's what Claremont's all about and especially Serenoa. So views like this is very typical. It's very easy to get a lot like this. So give us a call and we'll let you know availability. But again, as we go through the home, now, now we gotta close these doors. Okay, okay. <laughs> you one. go that side, Pam. We're gonna cut the video and then <laughs> come back after we do this work. See, Pam got me sweating. All right, follow me guys. And we're gonna show you the final part of this home, the regular Easley model. I do like the little foyer you have before you go into the master. So that's very nice. And you have this small archway here. But guys, take a look at this primary bedroom suite. My goodness, two windows for natural lighting and a third on the side. Look how, look how far I am. You have seating area here, which is great. Lots of furniture, king size bed, cadenza. I think that should be a TV, Pam disagrees, but okay, she won today, she gets the picture. Yeah, but I like that chandelier. <laughs> chandelier, they went with chandelier, not fan. Yeah, that's awesome. That's very nice. Yeah, and I do like that chandelier, that's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> I use dope. <laughs> 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 All right, and here is our primary bath suite. Now, with this builder, Pulte, I usually notice they do give an option to put a pocket door here, so it slides in between the walls. Today, they just have the regular door, but I like the pocket door idea because less space taken up. But as we pull forward, we have our vanity here with the two sinks, plenty of the drawers, and again, these drawers are soft slam. Very nice, right? We have mirror here and the two pendant lightings. Now behind that door, behind door number one, grand shower. Now this option is killer. Look at that floor, look at the tile work, transom window on the top. This is the same tile that they had in the other bathroom but in white instead of gray pen. Yeah. Very nice. You have your niche over here display window just in case you want to talk to your husband or wife while you're brushing your teeth <laughs> and uh, you have your hardware on the side set wall here but I love that tile on the floor amazing guys we move forward coming yeah here's our commode right so your thinking place is there and then this closet is amazing so I don't know about his and hers. Pam will let you know which one that is. But you have one side and another side here, right? Very deep in. 
They're about equal space. Equal though. space, right. Mm -hmm. And then behind this door, we have the data panel for all your media needs, right? And imagine, erase, look, guys, erase, erase all of the wire shelving. Imagine that in wood and built-ins. This is an amazing closet, right? They look very luxury. Oh, and then maybe kind of like a wall, shiplap wall design here. It would be crazy. Look at me, I'm getting good with designing. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> All right, guys. So stay with me one more minute. I got a couple more words for you and we'll be right back. All right, guys, if you love this home and I know you do in this community, in the area of Claremont and this road right here is going to junction off to the other side of Claremont and bring you closer to everything then give me a call, 407-790-0929, Anthony Tata, your local Orlando realtor. Hit that subscribe, hit that notice button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.